Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony here with SDK Today, and today we are going to be looking into how to create a UI action sheet in our iPhone application. Uh, basically, what a UI action sheet allows you to do is it's going to display buttons uh, from the bottom of the screen. It's going to come up to the halfway of like your iPhone. So basically, in that little section of the action sheet, it's going to have different buttons, and each of those buttons can create a different action. Uh, for purposes of this video, we are going to make uh, each of those buttons change text on the screen. Now you could make one of those buttons open up the mail application, you can make one of those buttons uh, tweet something, you can make one of those buttons uh, do basically whatever you want to do. Uh, but again for purposes of this video we are just going to change text on the screen but also I'm going to give you like insider information on how to create the action sheet itself which is great. Uh, so first thing open up Xcode, navigate to create a new Xcode project and we are going to go single view application here and we are going to name it UI action sheet and then uh, save it to any directory you want alright so typically in videos I would always jump into the header file first to declare basically anything we're doing uh, beforehand in the application before jumping into our uh, implementation files uh, but with Xcode 4, what you can do now is you can create your whole interface and already create the .h uh, basically automatically for you. You do still have to do a couple of connections, which I'll show you how to do, uh, but it's basically really simple. So we're going to jump into our XIB file or our interface builder file now, and interface builder is also uh, built into Xcode 4, which is great as well. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is first uh, put in our button, and we are going to title it UI Action Sheet and then we're going to put in our label and we're just going to change the size and delete the label uh, but basically why I put the button and the label uh, on the top half of the screen is because the action sheet is going to come up like one-fourth of the screen so we still need uh, area to click the button and uh, show the label so make sure you have room to really see what's going on uh, that way your end result is actually working and you know it's working uh, so after this, you can uh, hide the utilities and then open up the assistant editor. And now basically what we're going to do is it's going to automatically open up our header file for us. And first things first, we'll just declare the action sheet delegate. And you do that by just doing uh, less than and then UI action sheet delegate and then greater than. So after that, uh, we can go ahead and create our uh, properties for the button and then the label. So first we'll do the button and you can easily do this by holding down control on your keyboard, selecting the button and then dragging uh, right into the header file. And first thing we are going to do is create our uh, outlet and we're just going to call this UI action, actually just action button. And then we're going to create the button action uh, itself. So control again, drag right below that and we're going to create the action and action button. And then after that, we're going to do the same thing for our label, except for this, you're just going to do an outlet, and then we have to write some code ourselves for the label, but that's just going to be really simple. It's just going to be uh, UI label and then uh, label. So it wasn't really that much. And it's really cool how basically Xcode 4 does everything for you now. You just have to do a couple little connections, and uh, that's definitely great. Um, so save it and once it's saved we can jump into our .m and if you notice I'll just hide this really quick um, yeah if you notice uh, what interface builder and what we just did uh, did for us also is it synthesized already the button and the label so we don't have to do that uh, either and it already unloaded the data when we close out the application which is great and it released all the data that way we don't have any memory leak, memory leaks or anything of that nature uh, but at the bottom you notice our action button code is also really pre-handled for us too which is awesome so I think that's just really cool to set up your interface first and then uh, go back into your .m and do your code later so uh, that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're really trying to uh, program properly for the uh, iOS platform but anyway back to the action sheet uh, the first thing we are going to want to do is declare that we are creating a UI action sheet and we can just call this action and then you're going to go equals open bracket open bracket UI action sheet alloc 
because you're going to allocate that you're using the UI action sheet. Uh, that way there's no memory leaks or anything of that sort. And then you're going to go in it with title. And basically once you type in it with, it's going to complete everything for you. So if I were to hit enter, it would give me like each of these sections where I would have to add my own. So in it with title, you're going to go at quotes and then just call this action sheet. The title is going to display on the top and then self, uh, I mean delegate, uh, do self cancel button title we'll just call it cancel and destructive button title uh, I really don't mess around with the destructive button title because it's really unnecessary uh, but just if you wanted to do it yourself you would just go at quotes and then do, uh, do the same thing it's just basically another button but uh, for purposes of this video we'll just nail that out as well and then other button titles we'll just call it uh, button one and then end the quotes and then add quotes button two and then comma new and now that we're done creating our action sheet the only other thing we have to do is display it in our view so to do that just type action uh, show in view and then self dot view and then you're gonna want to release it that way there's no memory left after it's done showing now the other thing I promised in this video is that each of those buttons are now going to do something uh, which is going to basically change the label that we put on the screen uh, at the beginning of this video. So to do that you're going to want to go uh, hyphen uh, open parentheses void and then action sheet and now when you type action basically all the uh, preset code is going to come up for you but what we're going to do is uh, use the second one and it's going to be UI action sheet action sheet click button at index. What this is basically going to have you do is create a uh, different index and different properties for each of the buttons. So uh, in order to do this uh, for the first button, you're going to want to type if uh, open parentheses button index equals equals zero and parentheses and then curly braces and the code for that button will go there. So uh, the amount of buttons we have is one, two, three, and in like any form of programming number one is always zero and number two is always one and number three is always two I know it's kinda weird but just stick with that method because otherwise it's not gonna work and you're just gonna get confused uh, so anyway we'll just create the two other buttons and we'll create the last button And by the way, uh, the amount of buttons aren't really restricted. It's just uh, screen real estate, and really, uh, you wouldn't want like ten buttons just clogging up the screen. I mean, I would hope not. But uh, anyway, uh, if you hit the first button, we'll make the label uh, say hello, and you can easily do that by just typing. Uh, what did we call our label? Oh, we called it label with a caps. Okay, you can do label dot text equals uh, at quotes hello. And then we'll make the second button say goodbye. And we'll make the last button say subscribe. All right, so now we're actually finished uh, with all our code. We created our action sheet and we created uh, each of our basically action properties uh, for what it's going to do if each of the buttons are selected individually. but now we can go ahead and run our application and just give it a second to load up so if we hit the action sheet the action sheet will pop up button one button two and cancel so if we select button one label change to hello and button two label change to goodbye and the last button and subscribe so guys thanks for watching be sure to comment uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video also the source code is always going to be below in the description I rarely like take the links off the internet so all the source code should be there as long as this video is up and you are watching it uh, I encourage you to subscribe because a lot of more content is going to be coming out on this channel as well as a blog coming soon for some written posts but other than that my name is Anthony and thanks for watching